What's up, everybody? Come back. Good. Replays, but I do have some ACC fans that are subscribed to the channel, so I'm gonna congratulate the ACC in their performance on the field. All right, man, so we kicking off the first ever ACC championship game in football featuring the Virginia Tech Hokies taking on the Florida State Seminoles. Virginia Tech comes into this game 10-1, Frank B. is the head coach, and they are ranked number five in the country. Florida State comes into this game 7-4, Bobby Bowden is the head coach, and they are currently ranked 22 in the country. The final in this game, 27-22, Florida State over Virginia Tech. Uh, MVP of this game was wide receiver from Florida State, Willie Reed. Virginia Tech was favored to win this game by 14, but they did not. So, to all the new people who recently subscribed to the channel, I appreciate that. So let me give y'all a little insight on how I do my replays. I, um, I'm going to play, as always, with the losing team, which is in this particular game is Virginia Tech. All of these games will be played with the 2017-2018 rosters. So, that's your current teams from this past season. So, without further ado, let's do it. I'm Brad Nessler, joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Kerbstreet. The stars are out, but it'll probably still feel like midday because the heat is unrelenting for this game between the Virginia Tech Hokies and the Seminoles of Florida State. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. Here come the Seminoles. The Seminoles are coming into this game looking very fired up. Kirk, what are your thoughts on today's game? Virginia Tech will have one of the best defensive players in the nation on display here. You rarely see a linebacker that can do the things that this young man can do. If you don't know him yet, you soon will. Oh, Kirk, you stole my pick. I'm picking Virginia Tech. Go Hokies. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. Short kickoff. McFadden takes it at the 12. The defense is in the nickel. Drops back to pass. They brought him down for the sack at the 25. Seminole go with the eye formation. Miss tackle. He's still going. There he goes. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. The defense jumped, but I think a lineman moved first. Offside. On the defense. That's just too bad. The defense made the stop, but a flag is going to keep the chains moving. They'll throw on first down. He throws it. And it's picked off. What a catch. I'm surprised he was able to hang on to that one. People tend to think that guys play corner. Drops back to pass. He's under pressure. They brought him down for the sack. That's the 30. Four wide receivers in the formation. Somehow gets the ball away. Loose football. Scooped up by the defense. The receiver should have held on to that. Now coaches hate to see turnovers anytime, especially the Hokies set up in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Number two zips it. And it's caught. And down he goes at the third. The Hokie set up in the gun. He drops back. Lets it fly. Got it to him on the run. Good job to avoid the rush and get the pass up. Number 34, the lone back. He drops back. Slings it left. Got it to the senior. McFadden tackles him at the number 34 lines up as a single back. He gets another carry. And they make the stop at the one yard line. Number 34 gains eight yards on that play. Let's make it third down. Virginia 
Tech. Lines up with three receivers. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. Not much trouble getting in on that one. Yeah, the running back just ran right through the opening. Akers is a deep back as they line up in the eye. Hands it off. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. Akers gains about four yards on the play. Third down. The defense comes out with five defensive backs this time. Sack for a loss at the 28-yard line. Chalk one up for the linebacker. It's for two with three wide receivers. First down, what a throw. Let's it go. Complete. McFadden brings him down at the 43. Receivers. Back to pass. He steps up, rolls right. He'll take it himself. He gets hit out of bounds. At the Drops back to pass. He's looking. And it's incomplete. Boy. Aker alone in the backfield. He's going left. And it's going the other way. And that's this kid's second interception of the game. Number two comes to the line with three wide. He's looking to pass under heavy pressure. And he's going to come up with a sack. Virginia Tech in a five wide set. He drops back. Looking. Rifles at right. Finds the true freshman. It looked like to me. Number 46 could put them up by two scores. The kick is up. And it sails through the upright. Yo, this kid is not your... Aker is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He's looking to pass. He's looking for his man. Got it to his receiver. The Knowles come out in the shotgun. He drops back. Hit as he throws. It's scooped up. And they make the stop at the 36. Aguayo gets set to kick this one away. And this one's a short kick. Phillips takes it at the 14. Can't wrap him up. And now a slight. Number two is back in the gun. They'll throw on first down. He's rolling right. Zips it right. The true freshman has it. He's tackled at the 45 yard. The Hokies set up in the gun. They'll run the option. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Come out in the shotgun. Looks to pass. Looks, throws it out there. Has it to the senior. Number 34, the lone back. He drops back. He throws right. Got it ball. The defense. The Knowles line up in an eye formation. Let's see, did one of the linemen move first? All sides, home defense. Drops back on first down. Somehow gets the ball away. Complete, what a catch. Aker lines up in the deep back, eye formation. Back to pass. Across the middle. Oh, great catch. The Seminole come out the shotgun, and he's hit hard. At the number 12 lines up with four wideouts, slings it, incomplete pass. Number 34 lines up as a single back, drops back to pass. He delivers, and down he goes. Virginia Tech comes to the line with three wide. Quick toss into the field goal unit. This one 53 yards away. The kick is away, it's long enough, and he's got it. Yo, this kid is not your average kicker. You know, I was wondering if he's gonna get a chance to kick one of the... The Knowles line up with a single set back to you. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking down the middle. Oh, so close to breaking it. Florida State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. He gets another carry. Hunter tackles him for a loss on the... The Hokies line up in a nickel back. He's looking to pass, green pass. There's a missed tackle. He breaks the second tackle. 
Florida State. Goes with the ace set here. Moves up in the pocket. Over the middle. The Knowles with four receivers. Looks to pass. Across the middle. It's tipped. I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. Holding on the offense. The pillar is the clock. Number two with three wide receivers. Number 34 loses the handle. Look at them go. Touchdown, Florida State. Not a good time to fumble the football. And that guy feels horrible about it. And this one's all wrapped up. Kirk, any final thoughts here? Hey, and this is a fun game to watch today, Brad. Florida State played a great game, and they should be proud. But I was not impressed with the way they worked the clock towards the end of the game. Wiser play calling and better clock management, in my opinion, would have made a difference in this game. Folks, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope you can join us again next time. Our final score on this one, Virginia Tech 13, Florida State 7. This is Brad Nessler with Lee Corso. All right, yo, that's going to wrap this one up. Final 13-7, Virginia Tech. So this game has been rewritten because Florida State run the real-life game. All right, let's check out the game stats. <clears throat> we had nine first downs, 130 yards of total offense, which was crap. One rushing yard out of 24 <laughs> attempts. 11 for 17 for 129 passing yards. We were sacked four times. And went three for nine on third down. Not good. Individual stats. DeAndre Francois, 85.8 QB rating. Nine for 21 for 155 yards and two picks. Uh, Cam Akers. 11 attempts for 28 yards. Receiving. Alden Tate had five. Saunders had two. Izzo and Gavin had one apiece. Um, defense. Myers had seven. McFadden had six. Sweat. So I mean, Swede had four. Four tackles for a loss with three sacks. Yeah, he was he was balling, man. He was balling. All right, Virginia Tech defensively, Edmonds had six with two tackles for a loss, one sack. The other Edmonds had three. Um, uh, facing, I don't know how to pronounce that dude's name. And Reynolds had two apiece. Also, receiving, James Clark had four. Phillips had four. Savior had two, Grimsley had one, um, Trayvon McMillan 18 attempts for 40 yards, not bad, he did have that one fumble, and uh, Hedden Hooker, QB rating 116.7, 11 for 17 for 129 in the air, so this was the uh, 2005 ACC championship game final again 13 7 Virginia Tech all right man that's gonna wrap this one up man y'all stay tuned to the next one peace